Welcome to Easier Objectivism for Beginners. I'm Eileen Skeen, a longtime admirer of Ayn Rand, making objectivism easier for you. In Sensing the Thing, we'll complete the perceptual stage. You'll get the Reality Rules Cheat Sheet. We'll finish with a delightful scene from Atlas Shrugged. Let's go. We're diving into Ayn Rand's introduction to objectivist epistemology. Sensing things will move us from sensations to percepts. In video four, we use this picture of a glass of wine to introspect. We ended our sensations cheat sheet with Rand's statement, discriminated awareness begins on the level of percepts. In ITOE, Ayn Rand writes, a percept is a group of sensations automatically retained and integrated by the brain of a living organism. It is in the form of percepts that man grasps the evidence of his senses and apprehends reality. We can put four easier sentences about percepts on the perception cheat sheet. A percept is a group of sensations. The brain of a living organism retains and integrates percepts. A percept gives your mind the evidence of your senses. You use your senses to experience and know reality. In the three stages video, we covered Ayn Rand's statement about the importance of percepts. We'll add it to this sheet, the base of all man's knowledge is the perceptual stage. Let's see how perception works. We'll look at a complicated photograph, a pencil in a glass of water. Most people would call the break at the waterline an optical illusion. The break at the waterline is a visual reality. Our eyes see lights, darks, and colors in different shapes. Each distinct area is a percept formed by a group of sensations in your field of vision. We see the pencil, the waterline, the break, and more. All percepts are real. All percepts are the given. The meaning of each percept is ours to discover. For example, visual percepts can be blurry. There's a blurry picture on the far wall. Here's a closer, clearer photo. It's a drawing of a cantaloupe, pear, and squash. I knew the drawing, so it was self-evident to me. The self-evident is the given plus the remembered. The difference between the given and the self-evident is helpful in practical thinking. Ayn Rand said, check your premises. In the store here video, tip number three was reality rules. Here's the reality rules cheat sheet with three facts to remember when you're checking your premises. Your percepts are your premises. The self-evident is the given plus the remember. When perceptions don't make sense, there are missing or misunderstood percepts. Okay, let's see how Ayn Rand creates vivid perceptions in Atlas Shrugged. An injured Dagny gets profound pleasure in placing food on a breakfast table. She had never experienced the pleasure of motion, of walking as if her feet had no weight to carry, as if the support of the cane in her hand were merely a superfluous touch of elegance, the pleasure of feeling her steps trace swift straight lines, of sensing the faultless, spontaneous precision of her gestures as she experienced it while placing their food on the table in front of the two men. When I read Atlas Shrugged in 1966, I was 19, lost, and confused. Atlas Shrugged gave me a worthy goal. Dagny enjoys herself in the world, alive and aware of everything she perceives and does. She's my greatest hero. I wanted to be Dagny. Through that desire, I found out how to be myself. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of perceptual things. 
the next video moves to the epistemology of things and conceptual knowledge. Please like this video and subscribe for more. Have a great day.